in this video i will tell you how to find out the exact interior or exterior surface area of any building here here we have a typical structure in which i have used beam column and slab everything that could be possible okay initially what we do we also find out the area by using the paint command we applied the paint on the surface and then making schedule through the material takeoff but later we realized that that the paint we, which we which we have applied it covers the entire surface area of the beam like suppose if i hide it it covers the entire area of the beam it also get applied in between the joints of any two different structures for example if i put paint on the column and if i hide this wall the paint also get applied in between the joint between the column and the wall and same thing happen over here if i apply paint over here and if i hide this wall this this will lead to increase in the in our area so problem get difficult in case of my one shuttering because paint comes near about 20 to 30 square foot but my one aluminum shuttering comes nearly about 5000 to 8000 square foot so this could this error could make a lot of difference in cost costing of tender so now i tell you what we have or what we have done in our last project first export this export your revit model to cad twg next suppose save it on desktop remove this and try to export or import in any software with the lower version what are the 2007 okay now open the sketch file remove the girl import that cad file here project option mm okay open here here is that sketch of file okay i forgot to remove this you could remove this over there you know from vv window and doors because we are not going to paint there and we also not need this one for my one shutting okay after this importing the cad file what you have to do you have to select the hole then explode if explode option is explode option will only come in the link so you don't have explode option right now then click on the intersect faces then with the model or selection anything you could choose now this will make the each and every surface individual now save it save it in the lower version at the desktop and you can name it anything for revit save now in revit open a new project now go to the 3d view and then go to the masking inside then in place mask give it any name and open the mask now in the masking inside import cad or go to the file of types and select the sketch up option and here is our file which we have converted current view only and open it now here it comes and make it finish now you have two option you could use either by paint you could find out area either by paint or by wall by face okay so first i will tell you how to find out by paint if you apply paint over here you could see that it only comes on the selection surface it is not going to the full depth of the column or full surface of the column but here is the problem with paint if you hide this model paint will also go high so i would suggest you to do it by wall by face see it's a very simple trick wall by face edit 
duplicate one mm. Make a. I am going to make a wall of one mm thickness, and you could change its color so that it is visible as easily. Make it cherry. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if I apply wall by face. Okay, before apply using the command wall by face. This is the location line. Make it to the finish face interior so that it always come upside and it is clearly visible to us. See. Okay, now I will see. Now I will tell you exact thing. Here, here I have applied. Now, if you use a section box and if you make it a section, you could easily see that this wall is not going in between the joints. Same will happen here if you if you use the command wall by face and you use it, it's not going inside of the wall. It's not going inside of between the joints of wall and the column. So this is this right? Okay. Now, now there is a easy for you to calculate the schedule, schedule quantities, wall. Okay. Now area of the wall, and you could choose family and family type. Then grand total for in the formatting area option, we will make fill format. The three dash up to three decimal place and calculate total area. Okay. Now this is the area which we we are coming. Now. Now you want to check which wall, which area is this? You just select this area and see if you will get that wall. This is that wall. 1.4 is that, and 13 is that area. 13 meter square is that area. Okay. Now you could use this wall. Now, what is the benefit of using wall over paint? Is if I hide this masking, your wall will be there, so that you could easily see that is there any overlapping or any surface which we have left. Okay, now wall is used. Wall could be used only for the vertical surface. Now for the horizontal surface, you could use either roof or by floor. Okay, here I am going to use by floor, by roof, making it one, and by category. Let's suppose we will take it to the yellow. Okay, okay, and okay. Now here, you could see that the, now the selection area is this, and paint area will come over here only. Now the entire width of the beam. Okay. So basically, there will be no. Okay. So there will be no overlapping of the surfaces. If you use section box, you would see that we have yellow surface here. But as the wall start, we don't have yellow yellow surface here at the depth at the base of the beam. So through this, then after this, you could also calculate the area for the roof. Okay, same process as we have done. Find out the area for the wall. Then total formatting area field format three decimal space two decimal space. Calculate total. Okay. 
and here we okay so this is how we find out the exact surface area for the my one shattering if you have any other solution better than this easier than this then please let us know thank you